question about competitive advantages. Um, so you have a rule of only investing in copycats as opposed to innovators. Um, so my question is, do you believe that there's a first mover advantage? Uh, that's a really good question. Um, so I think that one of the mental models which has served me really well, and it's a weird, it's a weird uh, nuance of humans. Uh, and I still don't understand why humans are this way, but they are this way. Um, humans are bad at cloning and copying. Uh, most humans and most companies almost think that it's beneath them. Um, they somehow think it's kind of, uh, you know, so, and so what that does is it opens up uh, a significant window of opportunities that would not exist without it. So obviously we are right on the innovators and the innovators, you know, grow and scale and whatever uh, we do really well. I mean, you know, uh, uh, but, but if you, if you, uh, so if we look at a company like uh, Microsoft, for example, um, Microsoft is the ultimate cloner. Okay. Um, after they came up with the basic compiler, compiler in 1976 in New Mexico, everything has been copied or stolen from then on. And they're not even very good at cloning. Like, you know, uh, when they tried to clone the Mac, it took them like 15 years and 10 versions to get, get there, you know? And uh, so um, Excel was copied from Lotus and Word was copied from WordPerfect. Uh, PowerPoint was acquired, um, uh, you know, Access copied Oracle and Sybase. And, uh, you know, um, um, you know, they finally gave up on search and they kind of, you know, went with Google, but, you know, the acronym uh, for Bing is, but it's not Google, you know? So uh, they, they, not only are they not a good cloner, they, many times they fail. Like forever they tried to clone Quicken. And they came out with money and they were never able to get traction there. They, they put a lot of effort into search. They could never get traction there. Um, so even with being a bad cloner, you know, like for example, now uh, Microsoft has Teams, right? And Teams copied uh, Slate. Right, and uh, and uh, and they will probably, you know, kill Slate uh, because they're such good. They're so good at uh, eventually getting these things working, and then eventually the incumbent uh, has a problem. Uh, if you look at something, about someone like uh, Walmart, um, for more than ten or fifteen years after after Sam Walton founded Walmart, for at least the first fifteen years, there was no innovation. Every single thing about Walmart was copied from Kmart and, and Sears. They just, they just lifted that model. And the reason why Sam Walton spent all this time in all the competitor stores is because he had no ideas of his own. He just looked at what other people are doing and he copied the best of what he could find. And, and that's what, so if you look at Walmart, I mean, what is the intellectual property of Walmart? Now, after 15, 20 years, they got you know, a, a bunch of competitive advantage with scale and logistics and all of that. But in the first 10 or 15 years, there's no advantage. All they're doing is it's execution. It's great execution on a, on a base model. If you look at Costco, uh, everything about Costco was copied from price, price club. So sole price. Uh, so if we talk to Jim Senegal, someone asked Jim Senegal, what did you learn from sole price? He said, it's the wrong question. There's nothing I know that I didn't learn from sole price. Okay, so the whole Costco model, everything about it, and actually the cloner became better than the original. You know, like Walmart became better than Kmart, and Microsoft became better than so many other companies. So I think that, yes, you can invest in the innovators, but I think that's much harder to get right. Um, if, 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 if some businesses are consistent cloners, and they're good at it, um, and I don't think markets recognize the power of great cloning. Uh, so if you can, if you can identify, uh, you know, I think even even at some level, if you look at some someone like Starbucks, you know, he looked at what was happening in Italy and he said, I think this will play in Peoria, 
and he took that Italian cafe and brought it to Peoria. And the funny thing is now Starbucks is scaling in Italy. You know, who would have thought that they can scale, scale in Italy, but they're scaling in Italy. Um, so I always feel that if you can identify a business that is good at cloning uh, and has uh, kind of uh, embraced it the way NVR, NVR embraced the buybacks, uh, that's a great mental model and advantage to have in your arsenal. Manan, really appreciate